it's known as the bone of the beauty and i think this bone determines how good your facial forward growth is almost all models you look at have it a good looking face cannot be without a good maxilla for those who don't know the upper jawbone called the maxilla helps shape the face it holds the top teeth and makes and makes the bottom of the eye sockets the top of the mouth stem of the nose space and helps hold up and shape the middle of the face and cheeks the top jaw is important for how the middle of the face looks and for the structure of the face so in today's video we will dive into what makes a bad maxilla what are the causes is it genetic mostly or is it the environmental factors not only this i will I give you a complete guide to develop your underdeveloped maxilla in any way possible most of the video will be based on natural techniques but i might have surgical suggestions just in case nothing works for you if you're new to the channel please do drop a like and subscribe my videos are based on science and backed by research that is currently available in the world so how to know if you have a recessed maxilla or not so your face will look like it's a long rectangle like an oblong face shape also you will have teeth problems like overcrowding and not to mention you you will also have an underbite issue your jawline wouldn't be complementing your overall cheekbones and zygote if you have all of these symptoms then you might have a recessed maxilla now don't freak out because I, I will be providing the ways on how to potentially fix it and if you're going for a surgical option how it's going to work forward pulling i would have said thumb pulling but i've already explained that in my previous video on how to increase bone mass but here we will use a slightly different technique though for the same purpose first of all wash your hands to avoid being infected or having stomach problems you have to place your two thumbs right behind your front teeth remember don't place it on the front teeth don't do that don't do anything to the teeth or else you, you you will ruin everything on your face just put it slightly before your front two teeth and just exactly on the bone and you push forward with very very little small pressure you know do do it like an exercise like for like 20 seconds then have a break then do it again and repeat it for like six to seven times every day so what it actually does and what's the scientific evidence for doing it and how it's going to help your maxillary bone well according to wolf's law made by the german anatomist and surgeon julius wolf in the 19th century states that the bone in a healthy animal will adopt the loads under which it is placed if loading on a particular bone increases the bone will remodel itself over time to become stronger to resist that sort of loading similarly here you're putting pressure on your maxillary bone it will cause stress on your maxillary bone to expand the bone tissue having a more and better forward growth maximizing your testosterone to support remodeling of your maxillary what i say, suggest is fasting at least two times in a week which which will increase your growth hormone by at least a 50 percent and as we all know nothing does a better bone job than the growth hormone which is essentially responsible for making your bone mass I've made a complete bit a video on how to increase your test naturally. You can refer to that video if you want a complete guide and diet plan to increase your test levels. Now let's talk about the surgical options available. The only surgical way to permanently fix your maxilla if it's underdeveloped is called Lefort. A Lefort surgery is a type of facial surgery used to fix problems with the upper part of the face, such as the cheekbones, nose, and upper jaw. It's often done to correct facial injuries from incidents, accidents, or to fix issues with how the face is shaped, which can affect breathing or appearance. There are three types called Lefort 1, Lefort 2, and Lefort 3, depending on the area of the face being worked on. The Lefort 1 focus on, focuses on the upper jaw and teeth. The Lefort 2 involves the upper jaw, nose, and part of the eye socket. The Lee 4 3 involves the entire mid face, including the cheekbones and eye sockets. Now, if you want to have a surgery but don't know which one, you can subscribe to my Patreon and I will be available to give you surgical advice or medical advice uh, based on uh, how you look and what you like. Five bucks for a whole month on Patreon.
All right, guys, that was it for today's video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. All video mater material and educational stuff is for free. I don't gatekeep it behind a paywall.